Coming up, one of the power players reveals their secret. And the island cranks up the pressure as Sting and Claw face ultimate jeopardy. <laughs> Welcome to Escape from Scorpion Island. I'm JK. Hi, yep, yeah, I'm Joel, and we are ready for Ultimate Jeopardy. It's time for Sting and Claw to go head to head to win a key limbo player. It's going to be a massive battle. Scorpion Island is tough and unpredictable. Over the next few weeks, Team Sting and Team Claw will be tested to their very limits to find out who's got what it takes to escape. The island has taken people as prisoners and is holding them deep in the jungle. Each day, the island selects some of its captives to compete against each other in the Limbo Challenge. The winners will be offered up as human prizes. Sting and Claw then do battle, and the victorious team take home their prize. Ultimately, the team with the most members has the best chance of escape. Coming up next, Scorpion Island's ultimate Jeopardy round. Where Sting and Claw go head to head for the chance to choose a limbo captive and boost their team numbers. But this round is tougher. The island will be raising the stakes. Last time, Sting and Claw watched the limbo captives in action. Alex struggled with his balance, and after a shaky start, things got even worse. When I was up there, it was absolutely horrible. And then I got to the middle, I started getting wobbly, and I started looking down a bit. So that's when it kicked in. Um, Alex started to lose his balance and um, unfortunately fell, and I fell with him. Oh, nice try. Well done. I feel really sorry for her, and I feel responsible for what happened. I'm really sorry. Jack and Ayla worked well as a team even stopping to offer support for Alex on the opposition. A steady pace paid off as they reached the skull in one piece, claiming victory over a clearly frustrated Alex and Amy. I'm really, really sorry. Which limbo captive would you pick for your team? We need to figure out which members of Sting and Claw are going to play the ultimate Jeopardy round. And there's only one place to find out information like that. It's written in the rings. So last night, around the island fire, the Sting and Claw captains had to select the teammate they would take into battle with them. First up, Anna, Team Sting. know anything about them physically at the moment so it was kind of a random pick so I think I'm going to pick Cameron because he looks really up for the challenge and he looks like a strong person so Cameron will play with you tomorrow in Decks of Doom Jake who um, you picked? I'm gonna pick Sammy. Uh, why Sammy? Because she's always up for a challenge. So I think she's going to do well. So Sting and Claw are about to do battle in the ultimate Jeopardy round. The winners, they get a brand new teammate. The losers, they walk away with nothing. But of course, the question is, which of our limbo captives do they want as a prize? Sting, have you had any thoughts? 
Uh, we've had a few thoughts and we thought they're both really good, really good players and they both and our team would benefit with either of them in. Um, but we've not decided on which one yet because they're both such good players. All right, in a moment I will ask you okay. which one you would choose if you were to win them, mm -hmm. because obviously you won Ultimate Jeopardy yesterday, so you get first choice, OK? OK. All right? Have a little think about it. I'm just going to go over to Claw, have a little think. So then, Claw, any thoughts? Jake, I'll go to you. Well, they're really good players, like last time, and, um, well, we can only pick one, so there is one person that stood out for all of us in particular. OK. All right, Sting. Olivia? If you were to gain one person from Limbo, who would that person be? Pick me because I'm really enthusiastic. I'm a good team leader or team player. I'll bring the team spirit up. I love a challenge put towards me. I'm from East London, so I'll chat to you all the time. Never miss out on the enthusiastic times in our camp. Pick me because I'm friendly, I'm caring, I love doing challenges, I am a good balancer, and I'm willing to give anything a go, so please pick me. That person would be Jack. And why are you choosing Jack? We would choose Jack because he's strong, he can pull his own weight, um, and we just think he'll benefit being in our team because he's got such a good personality and we've got, we're a bunch of people with quite good personalities. So, Sting, you've chosen Jack. Now, obviously, they won Ultimate Jeopardy yesterday, so they get first choice. As there are only two players, it means you have Ayla. So, Jake, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm pretty happy because she, she's going to play a really good part in our team claw because she's a good swimmer, she's pretty small so she can climb. Um, I think she's pretty flexible as well, so that's going to play a good part in our team. Just one question I want to throw into the mix. If you did have first choice, would it have still been Ayla? I'm going to say the truth and I think it would have actually been Jack, so... Ayla may not have been Claw's first choice to play for, but what they don't know is she holds a huge advantage. Ayla is a secret power player. So Sting and Claw know who they want in their teams, and that's the easy part. Now they have to compete. This is what they will face in Ultimate Jeopardy. Balanced only on skateboard decks, the teams will race across cables running over Thunder River. But in Ultimate Jeopardy, the island is really raising the stakes. Sting and Claw are facing a vastly tougher challenge. Because this time, one member of each team will be blindfolded. And if that wasn't enough, their teammate must carry an all-important team skull. They cannot afford to drop their skull because the first team to cross the river and swap theirs into place wins. Right, let's discuss tactics. It's time for team talk. Right, what we should do is, you know, when we were watching the others, they had the feet, like, in front of each other, and, like, when they were trying to move the same board, where, like, the person on the left was not moving the foot, so it slipped. So we should cross our feet over, so we're, like, the firmly together. So I think we should go for the tactic that maybe Alex and Amy used. Yeah. Especially if there's an added twist. Yeah. It will look safe. When we start wobbling or something, just stop. Stop. And just have a breath and then and get go going. again. Still. And we just need to be, you know, focused. Balanced and, and ready. Go for the goal. Right, teams, let's stop talking tactics. It is time for the challenge. Sting, are you ready? Ready! Claw, are you ready? Ready! It is time to take on the challenge in three, two, one, go! They're off, and already it's clear that with the blindfolds on, Decks of Doom becomes all about communication. Right foot across. No, 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 no. Move it. Move. I can't move. I'm trying to push it, it's not pushing. Push it. Remember, Sting are trying to free Jack from Limbo, whilst Claw are playing for Ayla. Help each other out! Communicate! Come on! Yeah, little steps! Little steps! Slow and steady! 
and the teams need all the encouragement they can get, especially Anna and Sammy. Imagine what it must be like for them. You can't see, you're struggling to balance, and your fate is entirely in your teammates' hands. Terrifying. Three, go, go, go. Right, wait, look, wait for me to move my right. right my Cameron's right. really trying to take charge here, but Sting's technique, it just seems messy. Whoa! Mind, one, two, three. Go, Especially compared with Claw, One, two, who've got left, real left, rhythm left. going. I can't move my left anymore. I mean, right, 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 right. One, whoa, two, whoa, one, Sammy one, just two, lost three, a foot in there. Right. Sammy stepped straight into thin air, but the deck stayed on the cable and Jake held her up. Oh. This must be awful for Tara to watch, but Claw, they're still in it. You ready? Me, go, together, back together. Two, three. At this stage in the challenge, the teams are neck and neck, and Sting seems to have worked one, two, out a much three. neater technique. One, two, three. Together, wait, one, I'm two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But Claw still two, look quite three. unstable. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, and they've gone again! Two. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. They're not totally off the ropes, though. They're still kind of on the boards. They need to stand focused. One, two, three. Got it. Oh, no. One, two, three. Sammy stepped between decks, lost her balance, and took Jake down with her. But he managed to hold on to the team's skull, and though Sammy knocked one of the decks in, two remained on the cables. Will that be enough? Well, Claw look like they're going to struggle on. But standing up, still not going to be easy. Claw in real trouble here now, real trouble. Are you up? No, no, no. Oh, no, they've just gone. They've gone as well. We've lost balance everywhere. We've lost all three boards. This is carnage, just what Cameron and Anna didn't need. Unlike Claw, they've lost all three decks. They're going back to the start. So all Claw need to do is keep their call. Cool. They need... To... Oh, no! This is calamitous for Claw! It's not called Ultimate Jeopardy for nothing. This is really, really difficult. We're back to our starting points almost, and we will go again. So the race is back on, and the difference between the team's tactics is clear. Left, left, middle. Claw are going slow, but they're balanced. Right. Stop, stop. Sting are trying for speed, but will it cost them stability? The ropes are starting to veer this way. They're coming forward. They need to balance themselves back out again. Doesn't seem like Cameron's shouting enough. More encouragement needed from Cameron. But Cameron's still not talking, and he and Anna are leaning dangerously forward. One, two, three, minutes. Oh, no! They're down again! And they've lost all three decks again. Fortunately, the skull is still in Cameron's hand. So, for the second time, he and Anna are being dragged all the way back to the start. This was another really dramatic fall. It's a huge setback for Sting, which could cost them victory. And don't Olivia and Alex know it? Three, one, so Claw are way out in the lead now, but will the pressure get to Jake and Sammy? One, go, go! Do yours again, middle. One, two, stop, 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 just stop. A little bit of a wobble there, but in general, right. second time around, they're looking more in sync with each other. This is what it's all about. Get Clear me. communication, One, smooth movement, two, great teamwork. Stop, stop. You just need to be more focused. Three, I'm trying. I'm trying my So Sting are keeping themselves motivated, but they've got a lot of catching up to do. Claw now three quarters of the way there. Three, Both teams One, are moving at pace now, two, and Sting finally seem to have got their communication stop. sorted. 
they know they need to get a move on because Claw are doing so well. Then again, just one mistake from Claw could turn things around and give Sting the lead. One, together. Two. Wait, together again. Two, together. three, one. Two. Whoa! No, they're OK, but that could have been it. And Tara knows that that was a lucky escape for Claw. One, two, three. Now, Cameron and Anna. Oh, no, they've just gone. They've just gone. No! Oh, this is so annoying. The rest of Sting look on appalled at Cameron's mistake. He slipped his deck off the cables, lost his balance, and dragged Anna down with him. So Sting are reduced to spectators as Claw near the end of their crossing. over. Now all they've got to do is get the skull in place. In. In. Yeah! Yeah! Yep, they've done it! Dex of Doom goes to Claw. Yeah! There's disappointment for Sting, but jubilation for Claw yeah! as they celebrate their first victory. And of course, they also claim their first new teammate. Yeah! Ayla's getting out of limbo. She's free! Whilst you're basking in your glory, let's go to Sting now. You put up a gallant effort. I was very, very impressed. Just not quite good enough. Now, how did you feel, Cameron, Anna? How was it up there? It was tough. Really, really tough up there. I don't really know what it was like up there because I couldn't see anything. But what I could feel, it, it was really wobbly and it was a very hard task. Now, you were spectating Alex and Olivia. What did you think of your team members? I think they did a really good job and where we were, we didn't think they were communicating so that was like one of the things that we thought they could have improved on. OK, well I think you did incredibly well. So then Claw, victorious, Sammy, yeah. what was it like? It was actually scary because like I was blindfolded and like when we fell off <laughs> I thought, I didn't know what happened, I was really shocked and I thought oh we've lost, they've won and then Jake goes no we haven't, they fell off and then my heart just went back up again, but it was really good. It was very close, actually, because yeah. while she were getting close to the finishing line, these guys here were very close to catching you up because they really, really started to speed up. Uh, Jake, how was it for you? Because you were guiding Sammy because she was blindfolded. It was really hard towards the end because when she picked the skull up, I was like, just throw it to the side. And she went, <laughs> what? And I was like, throw it. And she threw it in the river. So, yeah. Tori, you were spectating. Yeah. I, I imagine you were very excited. I was very excited. These two are absolute legends. Um, I was screaming and shouting when Jake put the skull on and they probably heard me for miles. <laughs> yep. yep. So congratulations, Claw. You conquered Ultimate Jeopardy, which means you get your limbo captive. It is, of course, Ayla! Woo! Woo! Come on in, Ayla. How are you feeling? Yeah, great. Absolutely. What's it like to be free? I'm so happy. Limbo's just like really boring and everything and I decided to um, come here with my new teammates and just, yeah, work together. Now, I believe you have something special to tell your new teammates. Yes, I do. I'm a secret power play and the name of the power play is Swap. Woo! And you really should be applauding because she is a great advantage to you. Ayla is a power player and this is what Ayla's power can do for Team Claw. Ayla's power play is swap. This will give Ayla the power to tamper with her rival team. She can swap out one of their strong members for someone weaker, jeopardising their chance of success. So then, Claw, that is Ayla's power. Quite an advantage. What do you think, Sammy? I'm just glad we picked her, not just for the power play, because she's going to be a great person for our team, but it's going to be really exciting that we've got a power play. Quite an advantage, though, to swap a player when she's playing. Yep, definitely. Have you got any players in mind? Um, no. It depends what the challenge is. Cheers, Sammy. So, Sting, the island has thrown up a power player. Now, that's quite exciting. How do you feel missing out on Ayla? Anna? Oh, it's really annoying, but, uh, I think...
think we're going to be able to make up for their advantage and we can beat them. You're feeling confident? Yeah. But remember that power play, OK, it's swap. Yeah, I'm trying to be kind of positive here. <laughs> You're ruining the vibe. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is, Anna, that's all. I know. So, Leila, you are officially out of limbo. It's what you've been waiting for to join Team Claw. You have been selected as a secret power player. Really hard to keep it a secret because everyone's like asking, oh, what is it, what is it? But we're not allowed to tell them because otherwise we can't have it. I am like really scared of heights, so if I could get rid of that, it would just be the best thing. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm adventurous, friendly and stubborn, so bring it on, Scorpion Island. Life in limbo was tough, but Ayla's got what she wanted. She's part of Team Claw, and she's loving it. The team that win Ultimate Jeopardy don't just get a new team member, they also get access to this Riverside base. Now the teams are level. Four members each. High five. Winning Ayla means a lot to the team because now we have a boost because we've won a challenge. We're here down at our river camp to get her into the group so we can um, give her necklace and face paint her. I'm so happy to be out of limbo because it's really boring over there, there's nothing to do and it's really uncomfortable. I'm really excited to meet all the members and do challenges together with them and get to know them a bit better. As team captain, we welcome you to Team Claw and we give you our team necklace. Now for the main I feel really happy that we've got a new member on our team. Even though that she's a girl, we would need another boy eventually. But she has the power plate and that's all we need for Claw at the moment. Now we have to give you our special war plate. Ready? Bye-bye. When I first heard Ayla say that she was a power player, I was very shocked and I didn't know how to react, if it was good or bad. But then she told it and it was very, very good. It's a big advantage to Team Claw. I'm just very excited and happy. It was really hard to keep it a secret. And now I can actually tell everyone and it's really great. We've also come up with a manifesto and we're going to learn it, yeah? And it's got some actions as well. Okay. And it goes like... We are Team Claw. Be scared of our roar. We need another boy because... We need more strength and more speed. And the girls haven't got that because they've got individual parts to play. Tara is a mental person. Sammy is very jumpy and flexible. Ayla is good at climbing. And then the other boy which should come in would be really powerful strength. One, two, three. We are Team Claw. Be scared of our run. With the sound of the drums echoing around the island, Sting and Claw were summoned to the island fire to find out more. Sting and Claw. Guys, take your places. OK, welcome once again to the island fire. Now, this is the way that the island communicates with us. This is how you discover your destiny. Current captains, please stand up to the island fire. So, Anna, captain for 24 hours of Team Sting, how was it? It was really good. Everyone was cooperating really well, and it was really fun being in charge. Yeah, did you like that experience? Yeah, it was really good, because I got to be a bit bossy. <laughs> Jake, what's it been like in charge of your group, then? Special. Special? Special. Do you think you're a good boss? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm a good boss. So then, we need to find out who your new team captains are for the next 24 hours. Is everyone ready? Ready. Let's turn the island rings. Alex. Alex, step forward. 
Alex, mate, how do you feel? Oh, I feel really surprised, really, really special, and I like thanks everyone. I'm really happy that I am. How do you think your leadership skills will differ to Anna's? I can't really say, but maybe because I'm a boy, it might differ in some way. But I can't really tell at the moment. So you don't like being ordered around by girls? No, not right. at all. Okay, well, good luck. You are the captain. Thank you. Of Team Sting for 24 hours. So, Jake, it's time to find out who the brand new captain of Claw is over the next 24 hours. Are we ready? Sammy. Now, Sammy, what was that face for? I, mean, I don't know. I didn't think I'll be captain again. Now we need to find out what the next challenge is that you will both face. Guys, get your hands on the island rings. What does that say? Beautiful. What is fearful? Well, it seems like skydives. It sounds like a skydive, really, but fearful. I don't know maybe a bungee jump, something like that. Is Alex right? This is fearful. Thunder River flows into one of the island's most remarkable features, Skeleton Falls. This challenge will involve the adventurers abseiling through the white water. It's going to be extreme. Next time, Jake's fed up with the girls. Because we've got loads of girls, I feel a bit left out because there is no boys and I'm the only boy at the moment. And two players battle it out in Fearfall.